Hi, it's Joe Thomas. I had an opportunity this week to shoot a video blog and I couldn't refuse it. This is Mr. Ken Benson. Let me introduce him to you real quickly. In 1976, in the United States, the NCAA championship was played in Philadelphia. That was the bicentennial for the USA. And the team that won that was Indiana University. And the MVP of that game, right here, Mr. Ken Benson, the basketball team went a whole year undefeated. That hasn't happened since. Pretty remarkable guy. He went on to play in the NBA for 11 years, had a chance to speak with him at a professional level today, and this guy is a successful entrepreneur and businessman, and he used a couple of quotations that I wanted to share with you that might be helpful for you improving yourself. Ken, what would you tell these guys is the key to success in anything they do? Well, Joe, anytime you're uh, accomplishing anything that you want to accomplish, one of the things that I found out a long time ago was that successful people do the things unsuccessful people don't and won't do. And I look back and I can look back and see the times that I was successful. Why did I accomplish that success? It was because I was doing the things that unsuccessful people weren't doing. And by doing that, I accomplished great and many things and so thankful for knowing and understanding that principle. That's, that's a great point. I, I appreciate that. Another thing you said, you mentioned something about excellence that I thought was pretty interesting. Tell these guys what you're working on. Working on a book now called The ABCs of Success and Excellence. And when you talk about excellence, excellence is being the very best that you can be in everything that you do and every way that you do it, no matter what it is that you're doing. And that goes hand in hand with success. Because if you'll do the things that unsuccessful people don't and won't do, you're accomplishing that excellence. I couldn't agree more. You know, a lot of people miss out on great opportunities that knock on their door because they don't recognize them as opportunities because they come dressed in work clothes. So this advice from Mr. Ken Bentz is pretty good advice. Read this week's blog and I'll give you a little more detail. Guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Thanks, Kent. Thank you.